After last week's visit from officials at the International Monetary Fund, IMF, a leading accountant estimates it could be anywhere from one to three years before the Bahamas experiences any major economic recovery. Managing partner at HLB Galanis & Co., Philip Galanis, remains hopeful things will turn around as a number of positive things are happening, including Bahamas' December opening, foreign direct investment on the family islands, and the successful implementation of value-added tax. All factors he believes could impact the country's economic growth. The economy doesn't grow really until people are employed because people will spend money, they will um, create opportunities for business people to expand, for them to create more opportunities for other persons and generally for the revenue, the country's national revenue to increase which has a positive impact on tax income, which is clearly what is required in the macroeconomy. What also needs to happen in a very real way is that we need to see our banks be more amenable to investing. Now, at the end of those meetings, the IMF concluded that economic activity continues to recover, but momentum remains weak, with growth estimated to increase from 0.7% in 2013 to 1.2% 1 this year. They recognized the government's efforts in reducing the fiscal deficit from 5.4% to 4.5%, and that the economy's external position is also expected to improve. Galanis believes the government is heading in the right direction with its policy decisions, but the the key to sustaining economic growth is through expansion, both locally and internationally. He added that no investor wants to come into an economy that's constantly challenged by large deficits and national debt. We need to be able to look outward, look just beyond our, our own borders for growth. We're going to grow domestically, we're going to grow internally, but we also need to combine that with an, a more expansive approach and perspective to, to trade uh, and to recognize that the only way that we're going to be able to ultimately expand the economy is by doing two things, doing what we need to do internally, but also looking beyond our shores.